Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Shanus, and today, as you can see behind me, we have a Sunday fun day. We're doing something for the Veloster. We're also doing something for the Sonata N line. We got Amy over here just kind of prancing about, but exciting. We're here a little early because it's already summertime and we live in San Diego, so it does get kind of warm. I know for those of you Arizonians and Texans that are gonna say you don't know anything about heat, I get it, but your boy gets hot easily. So let's jump straight into it. So you're probably wondering, you're like, Shanus, what are you even doing today? What's going on? And if you were seeing this, we're installing a brand new splitter for both the Veloster and the Sonata N-Line. So exciting. These products are actually going to be easily acquired for anybody that's actually interested in it. And of course today we're basically doing an install and then later on, so there will be some daily driving so that way we could provide you feedback on what it's like to daily drive with these things on and just give you our overall impressions of quality and everything else. So I'm really excited. Also, I forgot to mention the Veloster is getting even more love because it's also getting side skirts. So these are really cool. Uh, obviously cars come with side skirts, but these are little extended uh, flared side skirts. So the Veloster crowd is getting an extra treat. First things first, however, is we have to remove the bumper to do this install. Um, realistically, unless you're gonna use self-tapping screws, which are not part of the kit, um, you're not gonna have a fun time. So easiest thing here is to remove the bumper. Um, we've already covered that in another video for the Veloster itself. Um, so, and of course this Veloster comes equipped with quick release tabs. So the bumper's already off the Veloster. For the other vehicle, I'm gonna obviously show a little bit more intricate process. And so aside from the obvious title, the splitter and side skirts are actually provided by Street Arrow. These are the instructions and um, this is for the splitter. Obviously the instructions for the side skirts are different. Here's the hardware uh, to obviously get that mounted. And this is uh, kind of generic, nothing wrong against that because realistically most splitters install the same, but this is just kind of basic idea of how. So if you're like, hey, that's not a Veloster or a Sonata, that's a Mustang, that's why. But you have the overall remove the front splitter i'm sorry remove the front bumper uh keep the under tray if you can then obviously with the bumper removed drill some holes use the mounting equipment provided and you should be set now because i'm probably going to recycle this footage if you happen to be watching the video for the side skirts um it has its own uh kit i'm sorry its own has its own hardware uh for that it's actually self-tapping screws as opposed to the splitter for obvious reasons, you just want the splitter to be a little more supported. There is also a disclaimer on the back page that even though splitter rods do not come included in the kit, it is recommended. For my Sonata N-Line people, so if you've been following this, um, so I had a previous splitter on there that was a custom one-off make. Uh, and in the process, we actually got brackets to mount splitter rods. So it wasn't attached to the bumper like most people do for show. So on our end, we do have functional mounting points for splitter rods. We're not going to do that in this video because I still have to do measurements and kind of figure out where it would be best to mount them on the actual splitter itself. But in a future video, I'm going to buy some new splitter rods and of course we'll mount and install splitter rods to the, to the splitter that we're about to install. So stay tuned for that. All right. So now that obviously we got introductions out of the way, first things first is putting the bumper over the splitter. So this is essentially going to help us make markings because the splitter kit itself does not have pre-drilled holes uh, in comparison to the uh, the previous one that was on there that was made by Vega Motorsports. So in this case, there's a little bit more work to do, nothing too major. So we're going to make markings. Um, the biggest thing here though, especially with this particular model because it has the winglets as you can see, is you want to make sure that the bumper is actually centered and there's equal distance between the little canards or the winglets on the side and the actual bumper gap. So you wanna check both the left side and you wanna check the right side. Make sure that the distance is the same so that way your bumper's in the middle and centered properly. Otherwise, it's gonna look a little awkward. And since you do have to drill holes, it's not gonna be a fun time. So we've done that right now, making markings and then drilling holes. So quick side note with the Veloster install, specifically for the splitter. So as many of you know, the Veloster itself has some issues when it comes to the brackets right underneath the headlights. They tend to have sag after a while. And so many people replace them, which is all fine and dandy. 
with that being said, if you have never replaced those, or if you're starting to experience some bumper sag right now as it is, you may want to look into replacing those. And honestly, you may actually want to look into a splitter rod set. The main reason being is that the splitter here is actually quite a bit heavy. Uh, the material itself looks very high quality, but because of that, obviously you're ad adding added weight to the front bumper because that's where it's going to mount to obviously. And I can only imagine that the problems that the Veloster first generation has is only going to be worsened by the added weight. So again, just some advice. We're definitely not doing that today. So you will be getting feedback of what it's like after driving around without any added support and just basically counting on the normal brackets and clips that the Veloster comes with already. So we've drilled a few holes. Now we're doing a little bit of test fitting before drilling a ton more holes. Okay, so really quick update. So I know I mentioned in the previous video how I was a little concerned about added support for the Veloster due to its issues with the sagging of the bumper. So we kind of came up with this idea of, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see, whoops. But, so right here, you see, you see that, whoa. Okay, you see that plastic piece right here, this little plastic trim, there's a bolt right here. There's also one over here, and then there's one over in this direction. So essentially, the thought is to help provide more support is to remove that plastic trim piece altogether, drill holes that mount exactly where those current uh, where those current bolts are, and then essentially drilling a hole in the splitter exactly where those are aligned, using the same screw, or if we need to, getting a longer one, to essentially just screw into that for added support. This way you'll actually have additional support on the frame and it's not just all laying on the bumper. So here's the bumper. We've already kind of made some mountings as you saw in the earlier piece of the video. So it's actually on there pretty sturdily. Obviously we're gonna do more holes just to make sure that it's well supported. But as you can see, this part right here extends pretty deep in. Um, so by drilling the holes, to that metal area on the actual chassis itself should give us quite a bit of leverage support and should help the overall process of this. Again, just due to its added weight. So if you're asking yourself how to do this next step as easy as possible, what we did is we removed the plastic trim, which you could see right here. And essentially it actually lines up to the stock bumper. So I don't know if you see, well, the stock bumper, duh. But I don't know if you see this little gray tab. So this is part of the bumper. And there's actually a literally specific indent where that portion of the bumper goes into this plastic trim piece. So you can see the indent on both the passenger side and the driver's side over there, sorry. And essentially we've put it there right now. So now you have access to all three holes. So again, forgive, there's one here, there's one right there, and then the other one is over here yonder. So we're literally just going to make a marking straight down and then that way you know where to drill and then theoretically, because the bolts that come on it naturally are kind of short, but it's the same thread, fortunately, as the hardware kit that comes with the splitter. So after the hole is put, we should be able to just screw it into the actual frame going up and uh, you have extra support. So this is the one that comes with the kit, the hardware. Uh, this is a little too short for those three added supports on the bracket. So we have quite a bit lengthier, as you can see, like almost twice the size. Um, you may not need almost twice the size, if I'm honest. You may only need slightly longer, but this should do the job. And just like that, ta-da, the job is done. Realistically, all we had to do was drill the holes that you saw earlier, and then of course, screw the splitter to said holes, and then remount the bumper. So there really wasn't much to show. Um, we went over all of the basics. Uh, and again, in this particular situation, the bumper has the quick release clip, so it was easier. Now, one tidbit to add was that um, this splitter is actually kind of an amazing product for the Veloster. So originally, I had mentioned that one of the downsides was the extra weight. It's a little heftier. However, the solution that we came up with of mounting the screws to that center support bracket actually provides more support for the bumper in general. So, like, I'm gonna kinda like mess around with this, but it's so much sturdier now than with just like the clips in, so. As you can see, it looks phenomenal. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a little video 
we'll clean it up real quick. We'll get a closer look so you can see. Um, disclaimer, so as you can see, this one has winglets. That's actually currently offered by Street Arrow, but it is a custom made order. Um, I don't believe that it alters the price too much, but they're only making these per request. Um, if you decide to, they do make them without the actual ends. This is also an updated splitter uh, because I know that they had a prior model. So this is actually a new design that they have on sale on their website. Again, with or without the winglets, if you ended up buying one beforehand, they did announce that they're going to eventually, in the near future, provide support for aftermarket winglets to attach. Uh, these are essentially already pre-installed on this one, but same thing, you'll just screw up and then tighten them down. So let's give you a walk around real quick. Comes with these nice little neat, uh, they're called finishing washer washers, and um, it's not focusing too well, but it's got their logo on it. Mm, hard to tell, but as you can see, it's got their logo on there, so kind of nice little touch. Um, I mean, it comes included with the kit, so again, 10 out of 10, love it. And with our little added solution, um, honestly, just solves a age-long problem that the Veloster's had before. All right, guys, so we did the install. We did kind of a walk around, obviously, to see the quality and everything. And of course, now that the car's been driven for a little bit, and all in all, I can say that it's a solid product. Definitely recommend. Um, like I said, it's just really good attention to detail, and it's really cool design. I personally really like it. But again, obviously, what do you guys think about it? Please let me know in the comments down below. Do you like this new design? Are you familiar with the original design, and do you prefer that better? Was this kind of an easy install from your point of view? Um, let me know in the comments down below, please. Again, also, as always, I'm trying to listen to you guys and kind of highlight things that you request, even though some of these things are redundant. It's nice enough that we get to switch around some of the products, whether it's different bolt brands or different splitter stuff or arrow, let me know. But as always, guys, thanks for all the love and support. Sorry for being gone for a bit. We have a lot of stuff to show within literally the weeks coming, so stay tuned for that. But please be safe, do you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.